I was playing semi-pro and I got into the non-league cup final with Wildstone. We came here on a Thursday night, they let us train here on a Thursday night. We beat Boston here um, and then won the league. We were the first non-league team in, uh, I think it was 1985, to, uh, to, to do the non-league double. It was a lot different, you know, there was, uh, there was only like a court, not even half the stadium was open, you know, for the fans and everything. So, I mean, actually it was more of a shock the second time round. It was just, uh, the noise was unbelievable. I would say uh, probably the Stones, music-wise and football-wise, um, probably Glen Hoddle. Probably um, AFC Wimbledon now, but uh, obviously Leeds, uh, Chelsea. But um, somebody I didn't play for was Watford, and um, you know I'm, I'm a, I was a as a kid growing up as a Tottenham supporter, but I've been very much a, um, a Watford supporter and, and supported Watford. I think AFC Wimbledon getting into the football league was fantastic, you know, and I'd love to see them keep going. I actually gave my FA Cup medal to them. Um, so that they could put it in the trophy room, so the uh, supporters and and the players can uh, remember and try and you know achieve them goals again. In in um, Hollywood, I've got um, a football team called Hollywood All Stars. We uh, we play every Sunday. We've just finished the summer league, um, and we won that for the third time in four seasons. And now we've just started the um, the winter league as they say, but you're still playing in 70 degrees heat, so I don't know how they call it the Winter League, but we're currently topping that. We've played six games and won six. I used to love just getting me uh, fly fishing rod and going out and doing an evening's fly fish. I, I do miss that quite a lot. And I was, when I, <clears throat> when I retired, I was assistant manager at Queen's Park Rangers, and then um, that didn't work out. Um, it was myself and Ray Hartford, and then they brought in Jerry Francis. So Jerry wanted to bring his own staff in. So that's when I basically said, oh, I've had enough then. And, and fortunately, then I got a job in America, my first job, gone in 60 seconds. You know, people recognize, you know, saying, you know, that I'm an FA Cup legend. It's, it makes me very proud, very proud indeed.